Carrier-based jets are naval aircraft designed for operations from aircraft carriers. They must be able to launch in a short distance and be sturdy enough to withstand the abrupt forces of launching from and recovering on an aircraft carrier deck. The United States F-A-18 Super Hornet and Russia's MiG-29K are two of the world's most lethal carrier-based fighter jets. We thought it would be interesting to compare these aircraft operating in the two most powerful navies of the world. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. The Super Hornet was first introduced in 1999. Around 608 jets have been built so far, with per unit cost of $66 million. Operated by a crew of two, the aircraft's empty weight is 32,100 pounds and can take off with maximum weight of 66,000 pounds. The jet is powered by two General Electric turbofan engines, producing 44,000 pounds of thrust combined. The aircraft can fly at top speed of Mach 1.6. With ferry range of 2,070 miles, the aircraft can conduct combat operations within the radius of 449 miles. The aircraft has climb rate of 748 feet per second and can reach at maximum altitude of 50,000 feet. The aircraft comes with 11 hardpoints in addition to 20mm rotary cannon. On the other hand, the MiG-29K was first rolled out in 2010. Around 89 jets have been built so far, with per unit cost of $27 million. Operated by a crew of one or two, the aircraft comes in at a weight of 24,250 pounds. The jet can take off with maximum weight of 54,013 pounds. The aircraft is powered by two turbofan engines generating 39,800 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the jet can gain top speed of Mach 2. With ferry range of 1,864 miles, the aircraft can conduct combat operations within the radius of 528 miles. With climb rate of 1,083 feet per second, the jet can reach a maximum altitude of 57,400 feet. The fighter jet is fitted with eight hardpoints in addition to a 30 millimeter autocannon. Number 2. The most important factor in deciding a dogfight is maneuverability, the maximum rate and radius of turn. To maximize its maneuverability, the F-A-18 is outfitted with leading-edge extensions in addition to advanced flight control system, which is especially important for flight at high angles of attack. With the inclusion of helmet-mounted queuing systems and high off-board sight missiles, the Super Hornet can compensate its less maneuverability to a greater extent. Whereas the MiG-29K is a super maneuverable fighter, as it can outperform the Super Hornet in both instantaneous and sustained turns. It can execute impossible maneuvers with regular aerodynamic controls because of its excellent handling characteristics following a stall. It can also attain very high angles of attack. The aircraft can fly at low altitude close to zero speed without angle of attack limitations. Number 3. The F-A-18 is outfitted with APG-79 radar and is equipped with an upgraded processor, resulting in increased speed and memory capacity. The radar is capable of tracking multiple targets from 93 miles of distance. The jet is fitted with the advanced targeting forward-looking infrared precision pod. The aircraft is equipped with Pixel FLIR, laser spot tracker, infrared laser marker, and infrared laser rangefinder. The fighter jet is also armed with Raytheon's multi-function reconnaissance pod, which is capable of conducting airborne and ground reconnaissance simultaneously. On the contrary, the MiG-29K is equipped with advanced radar and improved signal processing and detection range. With the help of the radar, the aircraft can detect an object with RCS of 5 square meters from a range of 75 miles. The MiG-29 can track up to 10 targets and engage 4 of them simultaneously in air targeting mode. The jet can also detect a naval destroyer up to 190 miles away. The aircraft is equipped with information and fire control system comprising infrared search and track sensors, laser rangefinder, and a helmet-mounted target designator. 
The fighter jet is also armed with the latest weapon delivery sensors, an inertial navigation system, which determines the fighter's location with the help of accelerometers, gyroscopes, and magnetic sensors. Number 4. Both planes are equipped with state-of-the-art missiles, capable of shooting each other. The F-A-18 has 11 weapon stations, which include two additional wing store stations and supports a full range of armaments, including the AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-7 Sparrow, and AIM-120 air-to-air missiles. It also possesses guided and unguided air-to-ground weapons capabilities. The aircraft can also carry GPS-guided joint direct attack munitions, joint standoff weapons, and joint air-to-surface standoff missiles. The aircraft is equipped with a 20mm Gatling gun with 412 rounds. On the other hand, the MiG is armed with a 30mm autocannon with 150 rounds of ammunition. The aircraft is outfitted with eight external hardpoints. The jet can carry two R-27 air-to-air medium-range missiles, six R-73 and R-60 air-to-air short-range missiles, four pods of S-5, S-8, and S-24 unguided rockets and guided ammunition, weighing up to 12,125 pounds. Number 5. In assessing the Super Hornet against the Russian MiG, it is clear that the Russian jet has an advantage in terms of aerodynamic design and maneuverability, but it still hasn't mastered the radar tech and electronic warfare capability. So in terms of avionics, the Hornet is a winner. However, in terms of weaponry, both fighter jets are equally armed with a variety of air-to-air, anti-ship missiles, and different guided and unguided bombs. So maybe in an actual war, the Hornet will see the MiG first due to its better radar and sensors. But once these two legendary fighters are in visual range, the Russian MiG will have an advantage due to its super maneuverability features. But again, it will depend upon both aircraft's pilot skills to outperform each other. So what do you think? Which fighter jet is better? The United States F-A-18 Super Hornet or Russia's MiG-29K? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.